The government of Ghana in 2011 initiated the Skills Development Fund, SDF, to address the critical skills and technology needs of business enterprises operating in both the formal and informal sectors of the economy. Managed by the Council for Technical and Vocational Education Training, COTFET, SDF is a component of the Ghana Skills and Technology Development Project, GSTDP, and funded with a 50 million US dollar IDA credits facility from the World Bank and 10 million US dollar grant facility from the Danish International Development Agency, Danida. The Skills Development Fund has been addressed, I mean, has been instituted by the government in order to address the needs of businesses enterprises in this country, both at the local uh, levels and especially at the informal and informal levels. The fund exists to ensure that there is a process and a facility to allow businesses to upgrade their skills, acquire technology, share technology, even improve technology if necessary. The fund also exists to ensure that our local businesses remain competitive that they are not swarmed by new developments and that in fact they survive. You know, that's very, very important. The fund is a competitive and challenged one aimed at addressing the skills and technology needs of business enterprises operating in both the formal and informal sectors of the economy of Ghana. Under the SDF framework, businesses, institutions and organizations submit skills upgrading and technology development proposals aimed at increasing their productivity and enabling their competitiveness within the global business arena. Successful applications are selected through a transparent, independent and competitive process leading to the award of grants ranging from 10,000 Ghana cities to 3.7 million Ghana cities with a matching contribution of up to 50% of the total grant amount. We are happy that the confidence that the government and our development partners, namely Danida and the World Bank, have reposed in us, we are standing up to those responsibilities. You know, we, 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 we are excited and extremely delighted to know that our bit, what we are doing under the uh, Skills Development Fund, anchored at our uh, project support unit, is making a positive impact on our mandate, our mandate of um, uh, overseeing and coordinating all uh, technical vocational education uh, uh, and training uh, across the length and breadth of, of Ghana. Matthew Daly is the project coordinator and head of the Cotvet Project Support Unit. The Cotvet Project Support Unit is a specialized directorate uh, of Cotvet that is responsible for the day-to-day -day management and administration of all the donor-funded uh, projects. Uh, basically, we have uh, five major departments. We have the communications and outreach department. We have the grant uh, department. We have uh, monitoring and evaluation. We have finance and procurement. Uh, all these departments are directly under my leadership, providing the day-to-day -day management of the administration. Uh, let me admit that the involvement and the support of these departments have led to an efficient management and administration of the grants that uh, we implement in addition to the kind of support that we have from the project steering committee which is at the apex of implementation here uh, we also have the SDF committee which does the approval of the grant and of course we work closely with key stakeholders like the Ministry of Education. Since 2012, SDF has approved about 39 million US dollars to 510 trade associations, small, medium and large scale businesses, training and technology development institutions to upgrade the skills of the employees and assess technology from science, technology and research institutions both in Ghana and abroad. Part of the grant has also gone to support training institutions to develop demand-driven innovative training content required by industry for enhanced productivity and competitiveness. 
The Skills Development Fund had a difficult beginning. For the first 12 to 14 months, ending October 2012, the fund could give only six grants worth 1.5 million Ghana cities. And we knew that we had to change a few things, among which was the rollout of an effective broad-scale outreach campaign, ensuring that businesses in Ghana could understand what SDF's objectives were and so could apply successfully. For the second round of grants, uh, we gave 72 worth 15.3 million Ghana cities. For the third round, we gave 168 grants worth 29.5 million Ghana cities. For the fourth round, which just ended uh, June 2014, we gave grants of 265 uh, worth 41.1 million Ghana cities. So in all, we've given grants totaling 87 million Ghana cities to a whole host of businesses. SDF's impact is highly felt in the agriculture sector where thousands of poultry, livestock and horticultural farmers have upgraded their skills and adopted innovative farming methods and technologies that have tremendously increased their productivity. One of SDF's beneficiaries is the Ghana Rice Interprofessional Body which benefited from a grant to train hundreds of their members nationwide in the system of rice intensification technology, a proven method of increasing rice productivity by up to 400% on the same parcel of land. We as Ghanaians, we consume about 1.5 million metric tons of rice a year. With our current production of just about 500 thousand uh, metric tons that means that there is a big gap of over a million uh, metric tons of rice which have to be imported into the country with the support of sdf great members have noticed that using the same area of land they can get 200 percent or more yield from that same piece of land this implies that with the replication of the sri technology nationwide Rice imports will soon be a thing of the past. In the poultry sector, SDF's support to the Ghana National Association of Poultry Farmers has led to the upgrading of member skills in local feed formulation, medicine application, disease diagnosis, record keeping and marketing, leading to a reduction in the mortality rate of birds from 20% to as low as 5%. Before, we were having challenges with the high cost of inputs used to prepare the feed for our birds. But from the training received, members are able to do formulations with locally sourced materials, thus bringing down the cost per bag of feed, which translates into profits for the farmers. Not only has SDS presence been felt, in the skills sector, but also in the development and diffusion of innovative technologies in the agri sector. Through SDF support to Agri Impact, an agro technology institution, hundreds of farmers in the Volta region have adopted easy to use greenhouse technologies in vegetable farming, thereby ensuring year round production of high yielding and high quality tomatoes, chili, and green pepper. There is a farmer who was getting 65 bags on a tray, 65 bags of garden eggs on a three and a half acre land. After we introduced intensive production to this farmer, he reduced the size of acreage from 3.5 acres to 2 acres, but his yield increased from 65 bags to 75 bags. Over 40,000 staff and master craftspersons have so far directly benefited from SDF-funded initiatives to upgrade their skills and make them more productive. We are confident that for the next 5 to 10 years, Ghana would have a highly trained manpower base able to support the country in its quest to become more competitive, to attract investment from abroad and from within. This is the SDF's vision. We are encouraged to join us. By June 2016, SDF targets to approve 60 million US dollars worth of grants to businesses and training institutions in Ghana. Be part of the SDF success story.